Question number 10. Diagram 5 shows four points A, B, C, D on a Cartesian plane. It is given that A, B, C are collinear such that B, C and C, D is 1 to 3. So that means it's going to be a straight line here because it's collinear. Okay. And we also know that the ratio is B, C, C, D. B, C, C, D is 1, 3. So that's the ratio. Find the coordinate of D. So D, let's assume we just put X and Y. Okay. So we can use the formula. Okay. Divisor of a line segment. So we can use the formula. So question A, the X value of B. So that means 2 times the ratio 3. Because you do opposite. Huh? This one and here. This and this combined. So 2 times 3 plus uh, X times 1 divided by the combine of the two ratio 3 plus 1 is 4 should be equals to the center here so it's h okay so this is the first equation so let me simplify this first 6 plus x equals 4h mm, we're looking for what oh we're looking for x the coordinate coordinate d so x equals to 4h minus 6 okay so this is the x coordinate because they say in terms of h Okay, so we can leave it in terms of h. Then the y value, same thing. So 6 times 3 plus y times 1 over 4 equals to 2. So 6 times 3, 18 plus y equals 8. Y equals to negative 10. So we found the coordinate of d. So the coordinate of d is... 4h minus 6 and also negative 10. Okay, so that is the first one, the coordinate d. Next, a2. So this is a1, a2. What is a2? Hence, calculate the value of h if the area of ACD is 27. So ACD is a is here, c is here, d is here. So this triangle. The area is 27. So, same thing, we can use the formula. Okay, wait, let me just write here. So, the formula is the area equals to 1 over 2, and then we write the coordinates. So, negative 1, 0, then h2, and then 4h minus 6 and negative 10, and then write back the first one, negative 1, 0. Oh, wait, equals to this area is supposed to be equal to 27 so this is 27 so I'm going to bring the 27 uh, 1 over 2 to the left side so I'll get double of 27 you get 54 54 equals to so I'm going to times here first so I get negative 2 plus negative 10 H so minus 10 H then times this one becomes 0 then I have to minus the other direction. Minus 0, no need to write. Minus 2 times 4h minus 6. So I write 4h is 8h minus 12 minus 10 times 1 is 10. So 54 equals to negative 2 minus 10h minus 8h plus 12 minus 10. So 54 equals 2. So negative 2 plus 12. Negative up, uh, you get 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. So here is negative 18 h. So h equals to 54 divided by negative 18. Oh wait, don't forget to forgot about the modulus. Because you will sometimes get negative. So it will be a positive value. So 54 divided by 18 answer is 3 okay so x equals to 3 mm, yeah that's it x equals to 3 uh, h equals to 3 so that's how we get that's what they asked for right h yeah all right question b1 p moves such that the distance from point b and d are equal using the distance formula find the equation of locus of p 
So this one is locus, just the equation. So let us label what is it? What is the coordinate B and D first? B is 2, 6 as given. And then D is, since we already found H equals to 3, since H is equals to 3, so 4H minus D, 4 times 3, 12 minus 6, so it's 6. This is 6 and Y is negative 10. And then the locus P is XY. Okay, so we just have to substitute. Find the distance. So the distance formula is, uh, in case you forgot, X minus X1 square plus Y minus Y1 square and then you square root. Okay, so the distance between uh, P and B and P and D are the same. So that means uh, distance P uh, right here, P and B is the same as distance P and D. So we can do 6 minus X. Okay, I do B first. Lah. 2 minus X square plus... 6 minus y square square root this equals to mm, 6 minus x square plus negative 10 minus y square okay so square root and square root cancel now just expand this you get 4 minus 4x plus x square plus 6 36 minus 12 y plus y square equals okay let me write this here equals to uh, 36 minus 12 x plus x square plus 100 min oh wait plus 20 y plus y square so which one we can cancel? So x square you can cancel, no more x square. Y square you can cancel, no more y square. Mm, I think that's it. Yeah. So let us rearrange. So I'm gonna bring everything to the left side. So this negative twelve x when I bring to the right it becomes positive. So twelve x minus four x I get eight x. And then for y, I have negative 20y. Uh, sorry, I bring to the left, it becomes negative. So negative 20 minus 12, I get negative 32. Wait. Negative 32. Y. Okay. And then what I have left, 100, 36. And then I bring both to the left. Wait, uh, 100. 36, 136 minus 4. Wait, I just realized there's another 36 here. So this one you can cancel. So it's just 100, I mean negative 100 plus 4. So it's negative 96. So this is the answer. Okay. Alright. Um, what else they ask for? Determine whether... Okay, question B2. So B2. So it's B1. Huh? They're asking to... Determine, I uh, say, locus P intersects Y axis at point E. Okay, so determine whether B A and C E is parallel or not. So point E is on the Y intercept, so the coordinate will be X equals zero, and then we want to find the Y. So we want to find the Y. We just have to substitute zero into the locus P because it's, it lies on locus P. So it's going to be eight times zero minus. Okay, so this one no more. So 32y equals negative 96. So y equals negative 96 divided by 32. So you get negative 3. Yeah, negative 3. So negative 3, that means the coordinate of E is 0, negative 3. So since we are looking for whether it's parallel or not, so that means we want to find the gradient. So the gradient, the first one is between B and A. So B and A, what is B again? 2, 6, right? So uh, Y, 2 minus Y, 1, O, X, 2 minus X, 1. So 6 minus negative 3, so plus 3, divided by uh, 2 minus 0. So you get 6 plus 3, 9, 9 divided by 2. So it's 9 over 2. 
The second one, gradient of uh, CE. What is C again? Is C given? H2. H is 3. So 3, 2. Let me just write down. Huh? C is 3, 2. Okay. So the gradient of CE will be uh, 2 minus negative 3. So plus 3 divided by 3 minus 0. So you get 5 over 3. So both of them are not identical. Okay, so they are not equal. So not parallel. Not parallel because the gradient MBA is not equal to MC. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I made a mistake here. I made a mistake here. They're asking for BA. What I did was B and E. B E. So wrong. Uh this is not this is not right. I'm supposed to find for B A. Sorry, uh, my bad. So in this case, mm, gradient of B A should be equal to B is this. A is what? Uh? Negative one zero. Let me just write down here. Negative one zero. So y2 minus y1, so 6 minus 0 divided by 2 minus negative 1 plus 1. So you get 6 over 3, answer is 2. So yeah, it's still not the same. Still not the same between this and this. So they are not parallel. Okay.